In this manual, we'll be discussing the gantry alignment procedure. And to run the gantry alignment, you can go into the user settings, gantry alignment, and press the run button. This will initiate the M139 macro. But before we do that, we'll go and check what the M139 macro actually consists of. To do that, we can go to settings, Macro list M139. There are a few ways to generate this macro or to create this macro, and we will be discussing them. In this manual, we'll be discussing two main methods of setting up gantry alignment procedure. Here, we'll be discussing method one first. In method one, you have two motors that will be moving towards the two sensors. Once sensor one is triggered, motor one will be stopped, while motor two will continue to move towards sensor two, like so. Once sensor two is triggered, both motors will now be stopped, and if there is a specified gap, they will start moving out again by a predefined distance. So now let's head into my CNC software to see how that might work. So in order to generate the M139 procedure for method one, we can go into our settings, our macro wizard, gantry alignment, and here we have the macro wizard for gantry alignment. So here we can choose the axis for which we'll be doing the gantry alignment procedure. Here I've chosen X and we'll be moving in the negative direction. For our sensor numbers, I've already picked eight and nine, which are both normally opened as we can see in the diagnostics window. Then we will not be using encoder Z signals and we will be ignoring the limits while we're running the alignment procedure. Here we'll be moving forward instead of backward, and we'll be discussing the backward method later. There will be no final tuning, so it's assumed that both sensors are in the same plane. We will not be running the double check. We'll move, we'll set the move distance to 3000. Set the gap to 20, and we'll keep the speeds at 350. Now we'll set the macro file name to M139, and we can click the Generate Macro button. After the macro is generated, we can save the macro. And now if we go into the macro list, you can see that the M139 macro has changed. So now let's see how it will actually run. So here I've already set up two motors. So now we can run the M139 procedure. We can go into user settings again, gantry alignment, and press the run button. Confirm. And we can see that both motors are now moving. Here it's going to reach sensor 1, and one of the motors will stop. Here it will reach sensor 2, and they will both move out by a predefined distance. Now we can try method 1 backwards method. We can go back into our settings, macro wizard, gantry alignment, same axis, same sensor numbers, and we'll be moving backwards while aligning. I've lowered the speeds here a little bit. And save it as M139. Click the generate macro button and save the macro.
Now at this point, we can go into user settings, gantry alignment, and press the run button. So both motors are now turning. Sensor one is triggered, but both motors are still turning. And sensor two is triggered. And motors will be turning back very slowly until both sensors are released. Now it's moving out by a predefined distance. And now they're both stopped. So for method number two, we begin with two motors moving towards the sensors, again, similar to method number one. Once a sensor is triggered, the position is recorded. Here we've triggered sensor number one, so position number one will be recorded. And both motors continue to move. After the second sensor is triggered, its position is also recorded, and the motors are then stopped. Then we calculate the position difference, add an offset if it exists, and then after disabling motor two, we move motor one to align the gantry. And after the gantry is aligned, if there is a specified distance, it will move out by that distance using both motors. So now let's go into my CNC software to see how we can actually create this macro. So to check the M139 macro, we will once again go into settings, macro list, M139, and you can see here that I've already changed it to be suitable for method number two. So let's go through the M139 macro to see what it actually does. First of all, we'll have the M144 PLC, which will begin to watch out for the gantry sensors, whether they are triggered or not. And then we'll begin to move towards those gantry sensors. After they are triggered, we'll add a little pause here. We will obtain our offset in machine pulses. And then we will calculate it in millimeters using the coefficient right here. After that, we will copy this offset and add a tuning offset if one exists. Then we will turn off the second motor using the M210 PLC, which will be discussed later. And then we will move motor one to adjust the gantry position. After the gantry is aligned, we will turn on motor two and move if necessary together. So the M144 and the M 210 are going to be provided on the website and you can also see them right here. We can go into PLC, hardware PLC, M144. Again, this code will be available on the gantry alignment manual and M210. Now let's see how this will actually run. So I already have set up my motors again. We can go into our user settings, gantry alignment, and we'll begin the gantry alignment procedure. Confirm. And as you can see, both motors are now moving. Sensor one is triggered. Both motors are still moving. Sensor two is triggered. And motor one adjusts for the offset. Now note how at this point we have our impulse offset and our offset in millimeters, and we have our total value. We did not have this in method one. So now let's say we want to run the gantry alignment procedure for another axis, let's say axis Y. So let's say we've assigned motors 0 and 1 to 
axis Y. Then we go into our macro list, M139, and we have to edit it. First of all, we'll create a new macro, M145. We'll be moving in the Y direction here instead of the X. This stays the same. This remains the same. The offset will be calculated using the coefficient for the Y axis instead of the X axis. This remains the same, same as this. Here we will use M211 instead of M210 to turn off our second motor. We use the machine position for the Y axis, move in the Y direction, and again M211 to turn the second motor back on. And the code for M145 and M211 will all be provided in the gantry alignment manual.